All right, we're at the Big Apple Con. I am Tim Dowd, and we are here with Frankenstein, the creator and mastermind behind Pissed Off Panda. Frank, why don't you tell us a little bit about Pissed Off Panda? Awesome. All right, Pissed Off Panda is my cartoon character that I created from uh, an actual truish story where I actually met Pissed Off Panda, because that's Pissed Off Panda right there. Getting busy signing books. He doesn't charge much. Be careful. But... That's what happened. It's a truer story of how one day I kind of flew across the country impulsively and I wound up at the San Diego Zoo and looking around on all the, uh, the goofy merchandise on the shelves, I wound up seeing uh, one pissed off panda because he was sitting there kind of sticking out. All the rest of the bears and stuffed animals looked a little goofy. And this one was sticking out like a sore thumb with a sore attitude. I picked him right up and I said, look at this one. He's pissed off. It's pissed off panda. And the next day was like the first doodle and after that was like the first project and a postcard and a sticker. And I've just been going there. From that was in 2002. So I've been trying to license him for years and, uh, you know, I finally made a comic book happen from start to finish, you know, all by myself. Uh, and debuted it at the New York Comic Con in October. So this is my fourth Comic Con, and I've sold through about 300 books so far. So not bad for a one-man band of just trying to make cartooning happen. No, not bad at all. Um, now, so you talked about that. Now, what? How do you see the? What is the comic book about, basically? Okay, the comic book I figured was the best way to tell the story was I take you through the actual true story of what I just said, uh -huh. and I figured the best way to show that was via a slideshow. So the characters get introduced by me. I'm in there looking basically just like this. And we introduce you to Pig Venus. That's our best friend. You'll love every inch of him. And then we meet Pissed Off Panda. He's got a little bit of a Napoleon complex, and that's why he's a bit of a grouch. So we then get the slides rolling and use actual photos from the trip that I took. And I just took all the photos and, and laid them out in comic format, word balloons and all that good stuff, mixed in with some good old-fashioned traditional Looney Tunes style kind of cartooning with a little bit more, more modern graphic design to it, and just tell the story that way using real photos so that it kind of just makes it feel a little more like real life and letting people know that it wasn't just a completely fictional character, it was the truest experience of my life because it changed my life forever. You know, so I just kind of took the character out like that. I explained where we're headed in the future, and the book kind of ends where I get to open up into a complete world of total fiction and really unleash the cartoon universe that's been kind of floating around in here for a good long time. Now, where do you uh, plan on going with the Pissed Off Panda comic book from here? Do you plan on there being multiple issues? Okay. or? Yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, this book, because uh, it's essentially called uh, Frankenstein, and then this story is called, uh, pre you know, it presents the origin of Pissed Off Panda, a hate story. The next issue is going to be uh, a story that kind of uh, encompasses my character's origin uh, from my graduation from, uh, from school, which was kind of a big event in my life, from college, um, all the way to moving out west is going to be what the fourth book is about. The third book is Pig Venus's origin story, where we find out where he came from. He's Amish, so he's a ham omelet. And we tell all about that adorable story and how we all meet up. The fourth book is where we move across the country to Tucson, Arizona. And it's a little bit of a parody because at the time of my life I moved to Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. Best place on earth, two, two, Tucson. And that's going to wrap up the first story arc. And it okay. establishes the universe. And we're going to put that in a graphic novel. And then every comic after that is basically meeting every new character, whether it's like a Yosemite Sam or an Elmer Fudd. Each one of them is like its own origin story and its own comic. So as you meet new characters, you've got a whole comic origin to tell, and you have a whole book to do it. I have about 16 other characters that I just need to start working with. So the next, you know, 20 issues of this thing are all floating around in there, and they just got to get, you know, pen to paper. All right. Yeah, Great. it's not bad. No, no, it doesn't sound bad at all. <laughs> um, anything else you'd like to talk about? Anybody, um where can people find Pissed Off Panda? All right. I just finally launched a brand new website, Frankenstein.com. Easy to find. Basically, if you Google Frankenstein, then correct Google and say, no, I did not mean Frankenstein, you'll find me. Frankenstein is everything Pissed Off Panda, everything Pig Venus, whether it's on eBay, DeviantArt, you know, just the, my website in general, Facebook, all that stuff. Frankenstein right there. So I just launched a new website. It's basically a portal to all these different websites, Blogger and, you know, Twitter and all that stuff. Everything that has to do with my little universe. Uh, and it has a link right on it for IndiePlanet.com is where you can get the comic. You can get color T-shirts, posters, and all that stuff is the best place and the best source that I've been able to find to get my comic out to people. IndiePlanet.com is the best place. I-N-D-Y Planet.com. Absolutely. Great. All right, great. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Frankenstein, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, Pig Venus in particular. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm Tim Dowd. This is Frank Frankenstein, and we are on the take.